So how many of you drive in here? So, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna give everyone like some kind of attention because it's like you can relate it. Because uh, here in Silicon Valley, maybe in San Francisco not as much, but down here almost everyone drives. So I'll give you um, our background. My name is Izana Tesfu. I am a director of operation of Carvey. Carvey is a telematic and ADIS company. So uh, our mission the company is we use mono camera and we use our machine learning to prevent an accidents around different type of vehicles around the world, and we are a global company. So um, let me introduce you the industry. So uh, as you might know, cars been out there uh, almost uh, 150 years, and accident has been happening forever, especially since uh, 96 to today, the rate of a human error accident has been 90%. And we see a lot of health of our detection for cancer, airplane accidents, everything's going lower and lower. However, accidents not going lower at all. Actually, this year alone, this prediction is gonna be around 40,000 people in the US is gonna die. If you look at the trends of the last three years, actually, accident rate have been increasing and deaths have been increasing. So our mission is to reduce accidents on the road. So, as you know, a lot of cars are connected nowadays. Uh, connected with starting with OBD2, uh, starting with having safety device on them and having connected. Sometimes they track you using the mobile app, how well you're driving, based on that they're trying to coach and all that. But all that's still good, improving. And Carvey, we're able to use the safety part, the ADIS. The ADIS part is audible alert if you're tailgating or if you are uh, changing lanes or if you're not um, staying in your lane as much as you're supposed to be. We give you an audible alert and we send those data to the cloud in real time, every second, 50 data sets. And based on this uh, safety feature, you can reduce 53% of accidents out there in the road. And this study was done by AAA and National Highway and Transportation. So this is like credible uh, research. So this is our device. So as I say, our device capture uh, the data, have the safety, we have data intelligence that we collect, and of course, they connect to the car. And everyone talking about almost every car is going to be connected in the future, such as self-driving cars. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more why Carvey actually is beneficial to self-driving cars. Here is uh, our um, business opportunity, our partners uh, in different sides of the industry. On the OEM side, uh, we collect data, because vision data, um, Nowadays, you might see self-driving car in San Francisco, in Pittsburgh, Phoenix, on small dedicated city. But the driving behavior or the people reacting on the street in San Francisco is completely different versus Chicago and New York. If you go to Chicago and New York, everyone jaywalk. Uh, San Francisco, most people tend to follow the, the law. So self-driving car cannot go there and just be like day one they can uh, start driving. So the data we collect actually can help improve the self-driving car in the future when it's in the new city with our data is collected uh, to enhance and make it uh, quicker to enter the market. Of course, insurance company, more and more insurance, usage-based uh, usage -based insurance nowadays, how many miles you drive, how will you drive. So this can reduce your premium as well. And telecom, that's uh, the connectivity side. More and more um, telecom is trying to do new revenue, understand the behavior. For example, uh, Verizon is number one fleet management uh, company in the world. They have over 1.5 million vehicles connected to their fleet management. And of course, government, for example, we do uh, uh, pothole detection. That can help for government. And more and more people, uh, especially elderly people in Japan, we have uh, partners in Japan, more elderly people are get into accident because, um, of course, they're hearing uh, all the, when you get elderly, you tend to be in an accident. And of course, as I say, fleet management, ride, ha ride hailing, auto leasing, all of these cars need some kind of data collection to understand how well the person's driving and how well uh, we should rate them or we should give them premium based on their driving behavior instead of just based on the car or based on who the person is. So this industry I explained to you, how does it benefit them is like, first of all, we care about the driver. Fewer accident and the driver you will get less um, insurance premium. Car dealers, they want you to be more and more uh, 
connected or understand your uh, vehicle behavior so you can fix them as soon as possible. And fewer accidents in the fleet industry, especially we see f uh, on the fleet industry, uh, more and more accidents happen and those accidents are fatalities very high compared to sedans or city cars. So that's the uh, one thing. And of course, uh, as I said, with OEMs, we provide the lane departure warning and four collision warning, the ADAS feature. And uh, our company, so our CEO, uh, Kevin Lee, he was the first person to actually uh, ev um, create the lane departure warning in 2006. And um, so our main focus on our company was safety feature, four collision warning, lane departure warning, and he'd been selling uh, mostly to OEMs, uh, to um, white label, but in 2015 he decided not only to have this safety feature, we actually connect it to the cloud through telematic. That means all the data is getting driven, getting collected data, and you have understanding of the environment, such as road uh, signals and how people drive versus, of course, and uh, give you the safety on top of it. So. Um, some of you might ask how exactly our device uh, collect data. So as you can see, it's a vision. We look only outward on the street and able to identify um, all the objects in front of us and the lanes. And we put that and uh, we're able to uh, turn that into good insights uh, for, um, for beneficial for the industry, anyone had to do with the car. So we're not only a device, we are like more than a device. So as I said, from safety to real-time monitoring to video demand, for example, uh, insurance company, one thing the most money they lose is uh, for paying out their insurer. So when someone gets into accident, just investigation, each accident costs around 1400 And Carvey able to um, expedite that by sending real-time video location and level of impact so people can understand the in insurance industry and they can send you uh, the right health people. Uh, could, you, could you maybe share with us a little bit about what your um, machine learning uh, uh, strategies and methods are yeah. in building this product? Yeah, so, so this product uh, is actually already built. Uh, it's on the road. So um, one good thing about uh, our device is uh, the way we know is currently we sell it to fleet, insurance, uh, anyone that have uh, vehicles and they use it as a safety device. And the more and more that can send in data as a cloud, we capture the data and we're learning and we is, uh, we uh, improving our algorithm to do better. For example, on the safety part uh, and on the um, collecting data part. Yeah, yeah, great. Then in, in that case, then how, how, are, how do you backhaul all the video data off of your device? So uh, our device is uh, directly connected uh, to the cloud to 4G LTE. For example, in USA, we certify by AT&T. In Japan, Docomo, in uh, China, Telecom, we are around the world. Okay, thanks. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm just going to expand. How, what is the data rate of collection? How many objects do you have in your, you know, is it 3,000 something objects? And how much memory is on the vehicle versus what's the rate of communication with the yeah. cloud? So, so we send, uh, every second we send a data to the cloud, but we don't send the raw video. The raw video we either send when it's an event. Event could be an accident, even can be uh, some jerk to the car, to the movement. Uh, so uh, we don't send that. We just send the raw data every second to the cloud. And uh, in the in the device, the two things uh, are the safety part is happening in the device. Lane departure warning and forward collision warning is uh, happening in the device. So uh, what's the bandwidth? Uh, what's the rate of data transfer and collection? Uh, so far, we have. Uh, 1.2 billion data rows. So the, I, the data rate, like every second is? 50 data, 50 data sets. Every second, 50 And how much sets. is a data set? Is it a gigabit a second of collection? Oh, or oh, is oh it we do by hour, yeah. 100 megabyte an hour. Oh, 100 megabyte. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it highly compressed? Or? Yeah, very highly compressed, yeah. Uh, how many uh, cameras do you have for each car? Oh, one camera for each car. Just one camera? Yeah. Facing front? Facing outward, yeah. Then Just how facing. do you detect a driver, like a drowsy driver type of problem? So, so based on his, so we know each driver has his own pattern of driving, like fingerprint. So if we, this driver be like a swerving, because we have uh, a vision, 
we can drive, we give an alert. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you connect to uh, OBD2 or no? Currently, we do not connect to any OBD2. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And what do you think about other data collection technologies, LiDAR, sonar, or any number of the yeah. other ones? Yeah. Uh, wait, do you have plans for that, or it's just a vision right now, correct? No, just vision right now. I mean, we know all the self-driving cars are going to have data fusion. Can cannot only have camera. We know that. So we need this kind of camera data collection to enhance and pretty much we're enhancing everyone, uh, such as uh, LiDAR, radar, people, so we work with them for self-driving cars. Yeah. Good, I, I suppose we have a few, few more minutes, right? Uh, gr great, so, so maybe, maybe you could tell us in the audience a little bit uh, about what your company is looking for uh, yeah. for so, attending so, this yeah. Uh, event. And yeah, so, so our company, are, we are closing Sears B. In two months, we have a uh, commitment of $25 million. And uh, we are here to look in uh, some of anyone that's interested in our Series B closing. And our Series A uh, uh, was uh, 12 million and it was uh, f uh, led by uh, Samsung Venture. Yeah. And uh, we are uh, in 13 different countries and we are expanding uh, as we talk right now. And after this, you can even talk to me. Uh, we have uh, four of my colleagues, Viraj, uh, Simona, Mansi. Great. Where, where can we buy your product here in the U.S.? Yeah, so uh, we are based in San Francisco. You can buy the way currently works B to B to C. So insurance company or fleet company, uh, the one that would give it to you. Yeah. So our, most of our customers, fleet company or insurance company or ride sharing, leasing. Yeah. So, so it's a hardware sale and a service? or yes. what's the one? And is there any other value-added analytics um, yeah, kind of on top of that, it sounds like? Yeah, yeah. So, so the value-add, for example, self-driving car want to know the driving behavior, so they want to know. Uh, mapping company, they want to know uh, how the vehicle get driven, how often which street get driven the most. A government want to know how many potholes each road has. So all this uh, value-added. Uh, you customize depending on the user. Exactly. Uh, Say again? You're looking for volunteer drivers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can be. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can talk to us. We can give you one. <laughs> Do you have any competitive concerns with, call it self-driving cars and where they're going to go? And will you be squeezed out or uh, as they enhance their capabilities so, and so, so on? So actually, uh, we, are, we get asked this question by investors, by everyone, because self-driving car. By the way, self-driving car is not going to be available the next 10, 20 years in every city. So it's only going to be a different city. Actually, we're enhancing, because they're going to need a camera. So we're going to be enhancing their uh, capability by providing our camera or providing some of our algorithm to them. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to spend your money? You're asking a lot. Yeah. That? Yeah. So, 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 so uh, the, the, the reason we want to uh, big money is uh, we are expanding uh, in three different countries more and more, especially UK and Japan, and as we enter in China market as well. So uh, our device hardware, so we need upfront costs to make the hardware. So that will be the most uh, upfront cost for us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.